Um, well, thank you. You're here. I'm here. We're great. And Dreamcatchers is going on. Right. Social enterprise in, in Hong Kong, your organization invests in it and you also incubate social enterprises. That's right. What is the benefit of having a social enterprise in an ecosystem like Hong Kong? Um, Hong Kong is a money world. I think uh, there are a lot of things going on, which is, um, I would say, it's uh, unjust, uh, unfair to the mm. society, like income gap that's going on right now. Within 10 years, well, our aged populations will be doubled, things like that. Mm. But we see that social entrepreneurship is a, is a way for us to rethink, a chance for us to reorganize some of the resources again make it meaningful and useful for our society. So a reorganization, do you find that it's younger people or is it older people who are getting involved in this kind of... Um, um, I would say well, from all walks of life, yeah. no matter graduates or people with midlife crisis. We see a lot of bankers coming out right now. I <laughs> <laughs> don't know why. They're, they're, they have more free time maybe. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me about the stock price, uh, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no. I won't do that. Yeah. We won't do the CNBC thing. But yeah. I think uh, people think um, society is going on not in the right directions. Mm. To a certain extent, we see poor people all around. One million of Hong Kong populations, by the way. So I would say that people would, find to, would try to find solutions. Mm. So I would say it's not just about one entity, one social enterprise or two. It's about how we think about a new ways to the mm. old problem. You know, you invest in these social enterprises. I think I have like a two-part question to that. Mm -hmm. One is how do you invest in those? Right. And also, do you find that it's a different type of entrepreneur who is attracted to that kind of investment scheme? Yeah, I would say um, we don't start with the marriage, the investments. Yeah. We start with dating. I think all the more we try to aggregate all the good minds, good ideas, and good capital. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of the projects is called Diamond Cap. Mm -hmm. We reinvent a new transportation for the wheelchair users. So Diamond Cab is the wish accessible taxi. So start from that, actually starting off from a journalist who know nothing about business. Uh, the only CEO that I get to know who doesn't know how to use Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> but uh, she managed to get it broken even, the yeah. business, within two years. So I think what we do is trying to put up a little fund for that to kick started. And we get some professional volunteers around them to, to get, it, get it up and going. And I, and I think it was her mother, right, who right, it, yeah. it sort of gave, it was the catalyst for doing this. Which brings to mind another question. Do you think this sort of enterprise scheme or this sort of incubation scheme is only relevant to a local sort of population? Or do you think that there's scale there across Asia? Is there something that, that Hong Kong can influence pan-regional? Pan mm -hmm. um, I, I come from the corporate world, yeah. but I lost the ambitions of uh, always spreading global and Asia uh, thing. I always suspect that right now, um, even I would say just the local people can help the local countries mm. lo or the local cities because they got the passions to the place. Yeah. So I would say we, we don't mind share all our experience to people around in other countries. For example, one Taiwan partner came to Hong Kong, saw Diamond Cap and brought, brought the concept back mm. and talked to the captain. Right now they have a car fleet of over 100, 100 wheelchair accessible caps. Wow. So that's a, that's a kind of um, it's a mixing that happens. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we, we see, I think that's the major difference from social innovations or the entrepreneurship, mm. uh, just the business entrepreneurship, is that we don't afraid of competitions. We want people to collaborate. Yeah. We want, just want the world to get better. Yeah. We want the caps everywhere. So no matter it's run by us or run by the others, it doesn't really matter. Just so that it gets done. That's right. Yeah. Francis, yeah. thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.